is there a vetting process that you have now instilled on oh, yes. the party oh. of introducing? Yes. Right. Yes. And that will ensure that only the right candidates filter through. True. And given the absolutely allocated seat. Marvelous. Marvelous. I want to come to human rights issues, but before I come to that, it's one question lingering in my mind about a, your MNA, Murad Sayyid. He was recently transferred to Islamabad for uh, health care because Peshawar couldn't provide it, provide it sufficiently. Any comments on that? No, 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 he was not transferred at all. He, uh, he was here. I mean, he went to hospital there with admitted here. He's fine now. He's uh, come out. And he went to uh, a bigger hospital in Rawalpindi. But first he was admitted here in Islamabad. Nothing for sure. The insinuation that he first got checked up in Peshawar and because of the lack of proper medical facilities he was then... No, 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 that's not correct that's at all. Right. No. Now, as I said earlier, I want to touch upon a very sensitive subject. Not a contentious one, a sensitive one. That of minorities. Where does PTI stand in terms of the rights of minorities? Well, they're guaranteed in the Constitution. We believe that all minorities should be treated as equal citizens of Pakistan. Uh, they cannot be judged on the basis of their religion at all. And they're at par, they should be. So we fully support the, that the minorities should be protected and promoted completely in accordance with the Constitution of Pakistan. In, in fact, in accordance with the principles of Islam. Uh, which advocates that all people who are not Muslims uh, should be treated uh, with respect and, uh, you know, we should respect other people's religion both. So uh, our party has, a, 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 has this very positive approach uh, toward all minorities and uh, their rights. So, you're a very learned man. Uh, Am see, I? <laughs> well, you, so. you, you certainly sound it. Um, Mr. Khan is a very learned man. A learned man once said that the day we stop celebrating Women's Day will be the day where all women are equal because we don't have to identify one day as Women's Day. Every day should be a Women's Day. Do you feel that perhaps the same theology should be utilized when talking about minorities? Let's stop talk referring to them as minorities. Let's stop considering them as minorities. They are members of influential, many of them, uh, hard-working, fully participating members of this country, or citizens of this country, members of various forces. So, do you, you as an individual, feel that there should be something in the Constitution that says rights, not rights of minorities? Am I wrong there? Uh, no. I would say that the word minority should be eliminated completely from our vocabulary. Uh, Christians should be called Christians, Hindus should be called Hindus, nothing wrong with that. Or Sikhs should be called Sikhs. Our, one of our most respected chief justices was a Christian. Um, uh, Justice A.R. Cornelius, for many years, was a brilliant judge. And uh, another judge, another chief justice was a Hindu, you know. And uh, so, you know, uh, I agree uh, with the philosophy that uh, the, the, the use of the term minority is not appropriate. I think uh, it would be a good idea to, to, to remove it completely. Well, this, I'm very, very grateful to you for agreeing with that theology. Whether or not it happens is a separate matter, but as and when this party comes into power, I hope steps could be made to eradicate these barriers. Sure. I'm not talking about the religious identity. I'm not talking about secular identity. I'm talking about purely such terms which determine... I agree with that. Grateful. Now, how effective is the role of your minor, minority representatives in the Senate and the National Assembly, as it stands? I'm afraid, uh, you know, we have a, a, a member of the minority, a Christian gentleman, uh, in the Senate, um, but his role has not been that uh, effective, you know. But uh, we are, you know, we review everything, uh, for, not because he is a Christian, but even all the Muslim members, the number of uh, Muslim senators and MNAs, uh, I think we need to work harder, we need to focus more on issues and things like that. So uh, I would treat them equally, uh, not to the, you know, so we are at the moment reviewing the performance 
of all our senators and all our uh, National Assembly members. But the, the Christians and, and the Sikhs and the Hindus of our country, they get very little representation to begin with. And when that representative is not doing his job properly, do you not feel it's your job to be a, act as a whip almost? Forgive me. Absolutely. For me. Act as a whip I and agree. say, put him in. Absolutely. Absolutely. So do you think such policies will be implemented in the next term? Of course. They need to be. No? We need to uh, you know, focus on the performance of our legislators. No? And if uh, some performance is not satisfactory, then we need to correct that uh, thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I certainly hope uh, that you do. You as a senior member, but kind of the brainchild of, of this party. Um, again, I don't want to pinpoint just one issue, but, but, more recently, an issue did crop up. That was an issue of a, a, a sewage worker in Umar Court. Not certain if you've heard about it. A poor chap by the name of Irfan Messi. Again, I don't want to make a, hue, uh, a big hue and cry about it, but here's a young man who died uh, unnecessarily uh, because there were no medical facilities provided. I, I won't touch the religious side of things where the doctor refused to treat him because the doctor was fasting and he said it was, it would break his fast. So let's not talk about that. Let's talk about what your PTI leaders for the minority or even senior management did about it, issues like that? And the answer is nothing. Why is that? I don't know. I've, I've heard about that. I don't know how, what our local leaders did about that. But very, uh, no, nothing. Very, very no, sad. Nothing yeah. is wrong. That, that's, uh, uh, that's uh, highly objectionable. We can't condone such attitude from our leadership. We expect that uh, all the such uh, injustices uh, should be criticized, uh, should be brought to the notice of the authorities, and uh, should be corrected wherever possible. Uh, so, if and we are very quick to uh, take notice of the lack of, uh, or rather, of, of the negligence of our own people. Mr. Right, you've spent quite a tremendous amount of time abroad. You know, a life over there, or in the kind of modern world, means a life whether it's that of a switch worker or that of a police officer. Are you t trying to bring about such a change where such implementation takes place in Pakistan, where life means exactly that? Where Bilawal Bhutto's life means just the same as that of an Irfan Masi or Bahadur Bukhari or my cameraman for that matter? Is he, uh we need to change these attitudes. You know. uh, it's not going to be happening overnight. It'll take some time. But we have to address them. We have to attack this. Uh, we have to instill in our citizens a sense of uh, civility, um, a sense of propriety, a sense of commitment, and uh, an ethical sense. Um, that's going to take time. You know. But it's the job of the state, of the government, to ensure that uh, such ideas are um, are communicated to the masses, uh, which uh, which influence their thinking, and which bring them at par with the real teachings of Islam, which believe in equality. Do you believe parties should have a uh, separate department for ethical conduct, monitoring ethical conduct of party members within? No harm in that. No harm in that. Uh, we have our be, because, we, in PTI, we have disciplinary committees. Uh, we no, keep. that's for punishment. Mm. I'm talking about monitoring from grassroots levels where you check the vet, the, 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 the previous working history. I think it would be a good idea. We haven't tried it yet, but I, I think the idea sounds good. Mm. Okay. I'm glad. Well, Mr. So is there a message you want to convey to our audience, many of whom? are from the minorities. Is there a message you would like to convey on behalf of your party and personally? Well, I would say that this is a very critical year for, the, for Pakistan, for the people of Pakistan. And uh, Pakistan Tariq and Saf stands for the rights of all Pakistanis, regardless of their religion. Uh, we want to ensure uh, a system of justice uh, in this country 
whereby justice is available to all citizens in every aspect of our national life. And we would like uh, to, uh, the people of Pakistan to understand this message, the thinking and philosophy of Imran Khan, and help us with the, in winning the next elections. Because only when we form the government will we be able to implement uh, the, our program of a welfare state, of a new Pakistan, whereby all people, all citizens are equal, uh, justice is free and fair for all, uh, you know, the, the citizens of this country, and the nation's wealth uh, is equitably distributed. Thank you so very much, Mr. Thank you. Thank you so very much. In the end, I would like to thank Mr. Nengul Haq for being with us and discussing the issues that he has today. Let's hope that his party, himself, they undertake some of the goals that they've set out to for not only the minorities but a better Pakistan. Thank you viewers.